Hey guys, my name is Matthew, or Josh the Sniper, as the channel name says. For right now, I might change it later, um, maybe to Matsuki, like my gamer tag in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, I really like that. It's a nice, uh, thing Activision did with their usernames. You can just have whatever you want. Pretty dope. But anyways, guys, what we're doing today in the video is we're gonna be, I'm gonna be ranting a little bit on this guy, um, Blame Truth Archives video. And it was basically calling out Modern Warfare to be basically the most garbage Call of Duty we've seen yet. Okay guys, um, I just want to play this one clip first, and it's basically kind of why I'm making the video. The, the only thing I can think of, the only people truthfully defending this game, they have to just be terrible. They just have to be garbage at Call of Duty. And you know why he says that? Because he cannot compete. I mean, like, he's made videos, like, where, um, let's see, I want to show this, um, well, not on video, but I'm going to read the exact title, um, Adapt, Play Tactically, Get Good. I haven't watched that video yet. I don't know if I will. I might. But, anyways, I can see that he's been called out already on this, but seriously, dude, don't call people garbage if you are the only one having the issue, okay? I mean, here you can see I'm doing pretty good like I don't experience that much campers honestly but anyways let's start the video let's let's start this rant now now I'm not trying to start beef, beef with you and do like a back and forth banter with videos on YouTube you know um, I'm just making this cuz I mean this was taken so out of context man um, I want to point out that like at the start of your video you shown this clip from reddit where the guy was shooting a character model around the torso and the elbow in gunfight and it wasn't getting hit markers and you're just calling it extremely broken like it's such a game changing bad issue and I mean that's just not the case you see uh Infinity Ward also even said that they wanted to have their hitboxes the same size I remember this uh back in the summer um on I think it was twitter but anyways they uh, wanted to have the character models the same size so that you don't have a advantage, okay? So, by that I mean the females and males are different, of course. The females are slimmer, but their hitbox is going to be the same. I'll show a clip later. But, anyways, yes. At 11, or sorry, at 1 minute and 11 seconds in the video of yours, you mentioned that someone is getting melted by an AR, and I 100% agree with you. That that is definitely kind of bullshit. Okay, because personally, I experienced this too, and I expressed my opinion about it on Twitter. 250 word post about the M4A1 getting a nerf, and that's one of the ARs that's kind of the OP AR right now. Um, but anyways, it's getting an, it got a nerf with the headshot multiplying damage, and I basically said that it was possible to get beamed at a range that snipers should only be winning at. I guess not only, but it was getting I was getting beamed out of sniper range, okay? <laughs> like long shot. Anyways, um Yeah, and I also said I'm glad that it got a nerf. My responses were like, here's a here's one. Um Nah, if someone has good aim they should kill you faster when you shoot them uh for the head. Several things I could point out that are obviously wrong at the start here is that it's, there's still a headshot multiplying multiplying bonus here. It's just reduced, okay? And number two is that the snipers aren't really competing if they can to aim first, so you have to pre-aim, I guess, to actually get the get into the ADS position to shoot, you know? Because I'm getting killed before I can shoot, is what my point was. And if I basically pre-aimed, would you be complaining about this? Like, would you call me a camper? I know a lot of people would. Not saying you would, but it's pretty common in the COD community if you're pre aiming with a sniper, you're called a camper or a heart scoper. And the other comment I got on this was something really, really different. <laughs> uh, anyways, it was explaining how I don't know what a real gun does. This is an online competitive shooter, man. Come on. This isn't uh, supposed, or I guess it is supposed to be more realistic, but. It's not supposed to be 100%. Like, he also said that it was guns in real life or killing one shot to the head, you know. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> you know? Um, 
But yeah, he's like, don't give me any of that. Oh, it's not. It's a video game. It's supposed to be not realistic. But it's like, seriously, it is a video game. It's an online competitive shooter. It's a competitive shooter. It needs to be balanced. You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, anyways, there is a realism game mode in the game. And this doesn't even affect it, so I don't know why you're complaining about me complaining in the core game modes. So yeah, if you're into the realism game mode, why don't you just stay in that? I don't know, it's not affecting you because it is a one shot to the head anyway. So... What's with this comment? <laughs> Let's get back to the Blame Truth Archives video. Uh, you also said that you're getting clips from people where they shoot a second before another person does and they die first. Now, I cannot see or show you guys this on my video. Because in his video, he did not get the footage himself on the video. So I didn't see it, and I can't just strip it and take it into this video anyway because the app I'm using is Share Factory, and I'd have to, I think, download it off YouTube, but I have to get YouTube Plus to do that. I don't know. But anyways. Ah, uh, let's see. Of course, he might not be able to get to edit in these clips, maybe, that he's finding where this happens. Um, because of his editing software, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's the same as mine. <laughs> but anyways, uh, still. Uh, that intro clip showed you getting your footage from Reddit, right? So obviously you can get footage from other places. Anyways, um, you leave really relevant parts of your arguments out, like, was he getting hit markers, or was he lagging in the first place? Like, I don't know if he is getting these issues in the first place, because you don't even say. And that's really re relevant, because otherwise you could just say, oh, he is getting hit markers, and he's not killing the person first. I mean, that's not the case because you didn't say it, and it's not the case because you, like, make it to be because you say it. That doesn't go by your word. It's perfectly common to get killed first anyway if you are lagging since your enemy input, or if your enemy isn't lagging, and their input's going to go to the server first, and it's going to register first. That's just how it works. <clears throat> or are you going to blame this on the hit registration thing again? <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to roll the clips. So I got the into a split screen gunfight game myself where I also tested the same points your intro clip showed and I'm hitting the hitboxes but not the player model. The reason for this is because Infinity War designed the hitboxes for the male and female characters to be the same so that you're on even grounds statistically based in a gunfight. Yeah, it doesn't match up 100% on the waist on the male, but as you can see here on the female, you can see that the hitbox is larger than the model to even up with the male character model. <laughs> now, um, later on, you say there's no consistency with this game, because the sometimes, sometimes, the hitboxes aren't 100% accurate with the character model, I've already explained that, and one issue that is there though, yes, it is an issue, it's where the uh, character cameras don't quite line up right, I seen, I believe it was Drifter. Or maybe it was Prestigious Key. One of those... Someone someone big on YouTube. They made a video on it and basically you could go around a corner and aim. And another player could go around the same corner and aim. They could see you, but you could not see them 100%. And they could see you like... 80... No, no probably 60%. Something like that. Yeah, it's an issue, but it's not a consistent bug that's there in the game. It's a bug, too, so it's gonna be fixed. So, also, you claim you don't want the game to be shit, but... Again, I've bought every Call of Duty, and I, I return Modern Warfare. Does that not say anything? Like, I'm not 
trying to pick favorites here for Call of Duty. I know everybody kind of has their favorites. And I think every game before this one, except maybe COD World War II, had its its positives. Okay? Modern Warfare, I, I, I see no positive other than it looks pretty. It looks pretty, but it'll, it'll, it'll mess you up. Yeah. You see where I'm going? Um... So, World War II, you said, I, I had some negatives, right? More negatives. And every other Call of Duty before Modern Warfare had positives. And you're saying Modern Warfare doesn't have any positives besides the graphics. So, what about all these things that people have been complaining about at launch that Infinity Ward actually delivered this one time for everyone in years? Like leaderboards? What has everyone like been complaining about at launch like every year like the good players they're always like oh there's no leaderboards this game is just not worth the grind but then they grind it anyway so i mean it's kind of hypocritical either way <laughs> um but still leaderboards is one thing they have challenges at launch for weapons and is not is not what matters weapons weapon challenges i mean i was so happy that they actually had that at launch for once in a game like can you name a Call of Duty that had weapon challenges at launch? No? No? Well, Infinite Warfare, I, I would say Infinite Warfare did actually. For the, um, well not real challenges that are like specific, but you had the prestige to get classic weapons in Infinite Warfare, which was really nice. It had a incentive to prestige, you know? And basically there was a reason. Every Call of Duty after, or around now has not had a reason to prestige like World War 2 what did you get oh nothing for the whole year except for at the end the very end where if you did all the prestiges and you got to the hundred levels you could get outfits and you had to get to level 1000 to get the best outfit basically that's just a long grind BO4 what'd you get nothing of course nothing <laughs> I you might have gotten um, classes but that's not really a reward. And then you wonder why people defend this game, and you claim the hitboxes are still quote-unquote busted. Or random. And the reason, like, you say you showed a clip, to, a clip at the start of the game. Okay, that was on Hipfire. Or, it's not Hipfire, shit. Uh, that was on, um, a semi-auto PP90. That thing has recoil. If you're in-game, that thing's gonna kick up and actually get a hit marker, okay? Sure, you might miss one shot because you didn't shoot him in the middle of his body. You're just missing the edge there. But there's also a thing called the aim assist. And there's different aim assists in the game too. Like the focusing one. That one, uh, if you go over the model, you actually have to go to the center of the model. It will start stopping. But, yeah, clearly it's uh, working. Again, about the part where you say you return Modern Warfare literally within a month of release. You think that it should speak for everyone saying that it's possible to play the game and enjoy MW without camping? How does that say anything at all? You compare MW to Call of Duty titles that have been broken, that had broken shit at launch too. But you claim they fixed the games and MW won't ever be fixed? Dude, it's under a month since launch. The Battle Pass isn't even out yet, with more content. We've already had two marvelous maps, actually. Shoot House, a small, fast-paced map that people actually wanted for a while now. And I'm going to show you in another video, guys. Um, and a huge ground war map and on some farmlands. We have weapons with up to 70 levels. A huge camo grind as well for the Damascus camo, I think it was called. Yeah. Um, you either, you either like that one or not. Um, I like it because it's not some flashy pink matter camo. But anyway, man. You show those cliffs. And then you can blame some truth on your shoot first, die first argument. It could just be the netcode, but that doesn't mean the t game is terrible consistently at all. I would recommend picking it up and giving it a try. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace.
up the pressure. 